Good morning. Today is April 5th and it is 12 DPO. So I did go out and I bought these yesterday. I woke up and I honestly felt like like when your temperature kind of breaks and I've noticed that that happens before I go in period. So and I did have like slight cramping yesterday and things. So I don't know how this is going to go. I honestly don't. So let's do it. Watch it go across. Set the alarm for three minutes. Okay, moment of truth. I'm not getting my hopes up anymore. I see absolutely nothing. I think my mind just keeps playing tricks on me. I need this. Yep, 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 yep. So I just got out of work and I'm kind of really excited. Um, I had more spotting and I had like this really like sharp stabbing pain in my upper left kind of butt cheek, bum cheek. Gluteus Maximus. I don't know how to say that so it sounds not offensive or childish or whatever but I had that pain after walking with one of my friends and then all of a sudden like I had some kind of like mild cramping but not bad and then I went to the bathroom and I thought oh, that looks like a little bit of spotting but maybe not sure you know and then I went to the bathroom again after some more camping and it was definitely spotting so I kind of checked myself with the toilet paper and yeah it looks like the same photos is from like implantation bleeding so maybe it's still kind of doing its thing and maybe tomorrow or the next day I will get my positive I am so I don't know I just have like this calming feeling coming over me like it's gonna be okay and I feel like this could be it. I was thinking I was going to go walking again since it finally stopped raining. I guess there's kind of little spots on my windshield, but I don't want to push it too hard. So maybe I'll do some kind of like planks or something. I know I'm going to do something exercise related. I don't know, but we'll see. I just got to get home first. Well, I am home and I have decided I'm going to put the heating pad on my butt cheek because it's literally taking my breath away the pain that is coming from it so that's what I'm gonna do okay so we're gonna start on Ralphie again we're gonna brush him out yeah and then cut some more stuff you can't have that Preston's in the tub eating a cookie so we're going to try to straighten this <laughs> choppy mess up. Uh-huh. Cut some of this stuff shorter. Uh-huh. Maybe some of this uh -huh. stuff. Yeah. <laughs> just make the little puka a little more comfortable. Um, I came home and I've just been kind of cramping and having like that pain. I think it's like sciatica or something. It's like kind of like in your upper left butt cheek and then it kind of goes down my leg so if this is implantation uh, still I just want to take uh, it easy and uh, not jinx things so <laughs> this is how I cut his hair He was sleeping while I cut his hair. Look at this mess. <laughs> Look at all this hair. 
again, messy sink for kids is, whatever. Look at, you guys probably can't even tell. All the extra hair we cut off. Blech. You got hair in your mouth? We'll do some more tomorrow. Well, this was another one that was gonna be short. It just took everything I had. I was already hurting and then I cut a lot of Ralphie's hair and looks like we're gonna have another set time tomorrow to do it because we've still got lots to do and he needs to get combed out more. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.